morning, everybody. Sean Daniel with Guitar Control here. Today we are doing a modern classic, in my estimation. And if you disagree, you can fight me on it. Alejandro by Lady Gaga. Actually an awesome song that really translates well to acoustic guitar. So definitely click the link below, because I'm going to put up a chord chart. There's going to be chords you already know. I'm almost positive you already know all these chords. There's really only two parts, but I think there's kind of a cool way that we can kind of <laughs> strum it to make it... Uh, get a little bit of the character of the uh, original song, which is fantastic, right? So first off, capo on the second fret. Again, you can use a lot of capo if you want, it's just gonna be lower if you wanna try singing along, but if you wanna play along with the recorded version, capo on the second fret. The first chord progression, super simple. It's A minor to C major to E minor, all right? So A minor is gonna be open uh, on the A string, second fret on the D string relative to the capo. So this is an A minor shape, but it's really a B minor chord. You can play it without a capo if you want. But I like kind of getting that openness of the chords in here. So open A, 2D, 2G with your ring finger, 1B with your pointer, or pointer finger, and then open on the high E string, okay? Now the next chord, you just take your ring finger, pop it to the third fret on the A string, A minor to C, and then if you use the same fingers, which you probably should, Middle finger up a string, ring finger right behind it, to E minor. Okay, so very, very simple chords. If you just wanted to play along with the tempo of the song, it's just A minor to C, E minor to E minor again, okay? But there's some cool things we can do to kind of give it a little bit of the flavor, flavor of the original song. And again, there's a little bit of a Spanish vibe, but in a very American pop music setting. So I think we can kind of like recreate that a little bit by playing it like this. Okay, so we're adding kind of, you know, Spanish guitar infused elements into that, and that's coming from the accents and the picking. Again, it's not like a Spanish guitar version, but it is just kind of how, you know, the hits in the song go. So first of all, let's talk about how I'm playing this A minor. Okay, just like that. On the one count, one, two, three, four, it's kind of like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's gonna be the tempo and the count that we're gonna use. So a bar is just four counts, right? The one is just gonna be the open A string. One. And then after that, we're gonna do this rake. So this is gonna be up to your pick. Now I'm just kind of gliding down with the strings. You can use your finger if you'd rather do that, but it's really a root note, a rake, a quick upstroke, and then a mute. So some people might think that sounds kind of Spanish because those rakes and the accenting is kind of one of the, one of the cornerstones, I think, of maybe, you know, flamenco-ish guitar. Again, this is all just kind of like, you know, Americanized to a certain extent, but yeah. And then after that, we're gonna do the same thing with the C. And then the E. And then if you notice the and of four, I'm kind of getting the open string set. So what I mean by that is, one, break, mute, open, one, break, mute, open, one, break, open. So that very end of it, one and two and three and four, and is kind of like an open string set thing that is setting us up to the root note of the next chord. Or you can start linking them together, which is what we're gonna do. From the A minor to the C. Now in the key, in this key, A minor, C major, whatever you want to think of, that B note is in the key. So we can walk A minor to a C by hitting that open A to A three. These are techniques you can do in any song. Anytime you see A minor to a C minor, you can walk it. You can play them as chords or just like that. Now, the next thing we can do is if we go from that C to that E, we can grab that third fret on the low E string to kind of get a little bend to get some of the emotion of that song in here, okay? So, really we're taking very basic A minor to C to E minor chord progression, but instead of playing it like using these 
raking and muting techniques to make it sound like Okay, so that's really the verse of the song. Now the only other part is the chorus, which is really cool. Uh, it's gonna be F to C to G. To G. The first couple times. And we're gonna use the same techniques, which we'll talk about in a second. But then eventually it goes from F to C to G, A minor, then back. Switch back to the verse. Okay, so like I said, it's a it's a bar of F to C to G to another G. Now you'll notice the way I'm playing a G might be different for some of you. Like I played a G exclusively with my middle finger on the third fret of the E string for a long time. But I found that especially when you're playing Fs and Cs and Gs, it's easier to have your ring finger out front, play the third fret, middle finger on the second fret, and your pinky on the third fret of the B or the E string, whatever your preference is, right? So when you go to the, the chorus chords, like I said, it's F to C to G. So I'm not gonna play an F bar chord. I always like playing this because, you know, I played this in, in our live sets when we do like, you know, these three hour shows. And if you play bar chords, it doesn't matter how, you know, trained you are, like, Bar chords on an acoustic guitar are gonna leave some wear and tear after like three hours of a show, promise me. So uh, I always kind of like to play like this. Ring finger, third fret, last year, let's just take a C major chord. Put your pinky on the third fret of the D string, your middle finger down, down a uh, string to the G string. And if you get the open E string, then it's just an F major seven chord and it's that much better, okay? So it's the same thing. To C, to G. I'm getting like a root note, and really, when you play the F chord like this, and you hit the A string, it's not technically the root note, but it's the bass note, it's the lowest note in this chord. To C, to G. F, to C, to G. The third time, we're gonna go F, to C, but instead of that G twice, A minor, back to F. Back to A minor, B, C. That last thing I did there, right? It's kind of a transition from E minor back to A minor. One thing that you can do a lot of the time in any song from e, that has an E minor to A minor, E minor, use your pinky to get that third fret, that G note, to lead you back to A minor. And you can always end it on an A minor, right? So that's pretty much the whole song. I'm gonna tell you how I always end this song live is with this uh, minor six chord that I think is just kind of like a cool way to end it. Again, it has nothing to do with the song, this is just the way that I, I play it in shows and stuff like that. But anytime you're in the key of A minor, you can always go to this uh, this kind of cool voicing. Which is open A, 4D, 5G, and 5B. Which is representative of an A minor 6 chord. But a song like this, it's, it's kind of darker, I suppose. And something that is even a little more Spanish is having that minor 6 Great way to end a song that's in a minor key. So it's just, again, open A, four, five, five, D, G, and B. So uh, in context. Or you can back it one fret higher. It's the same chord voicing. I'm, again, this works with the A because the open A string is there. One higher. Always a very inquisitive way to end any song. Again, yeah, something that I think is kind of fun. Again, take this for anything that is in A minor. I, I'm a big fan. I think minor six chord voicings are super underrated. I don't even know how I got on the side tangent. That's just the power of Lady Gaga to make you reconsider everything in your life after listening to her music. Awesome song.
Easy, part one, A minor to C to E minor. A. Make sure you get that rake in. The more pronounced that rake, the more Spanish it'll sound, because it's kind of doing like a, like a fan, like if you see flamenco players, they have their nails grown out. It sounds terrible when I play it. Well, not terrible, but you can really recreate it with a pick nicely because you just do that. If you want to really drag it out, another tip for that is to go uh, st instead of going straight down. Again, the quickest way to get from the low string to the high string is a straight line. If you want to drag it out, you can kind of curve it a little bit, you know? Just dr dramatic flair pro tips for you free of charge. Anyways, fun song to play. Check it out. Add it to your repertoire. It's a fun song to sing to. If you have any questions, hit us up in the, the comment section. Make sure you click that link because it's got all the lyrics and stuff tabbed out for you, corded out for you too. And uh, make sure to click some other videos around here by myself, other great instructors, other great songs you want to know. If there are any songs we have not done yet, let us know and we will get on it as soon as possible. Thanks a lot.